Alameda Point, a former U.S. naval station in Northern California, is willing to eager more Chinese investors and developers. Today we have Stuart Chen here to talk about the potential cooperation between China and Alameda. My name is Stuart Chen, and I'm currently the elected official for City of Alameda Healthcare District Board. The healthcare district runs the hospital and healthcare facilities in Alameda. Do you expect uh, China investment in the future for Alameda? Yes, I'm looking at eventually and possibly working with China in developing Alameda Point, but we have to find the right partner. Mm -hmm. We have had two master developers in Alameda, and at first it was progressing really well, but then they run into roadblocks. Mm -hmm. And for some reason or the other, both developers pulled out. So right now, Alameda Point does not have a developer. And my intention is if I get elected to Alameda City Council, my number one priority is to develop Alameda Point. Is there any candidates or potential partner until now? Currently, we're not talking to anybody. But as of two months ago, we own Alameda Point free and clear. Two months ago, the U.S. Navy gave us a zero conveyance, meaning we can have almost a thousand acres of land for free. Now the city of Alameda owns this 1,000 acres of prime real estate, we can be very creative. We can do land exchange, mm -hmm. lease to own. There's a lot of ways that we can work with developers. Mm -hmm. Do you have any potential list for Chinese companies? I work with Shanghai, Wuxi, Dalian. I founded an association called the Sister City Association, Alameda Sister City. And the main purpose of Sister City is citizen-to-citizen -citizen diplomacy and also business development. And in my capacity as the chair of Sister City, I've dealt with many business developers in China, mm -hmm. in Wuxi, Shanghai, and Dalian. Mm -hmm. And I have not approached them because it all hinges on what happened on November 6. November 6 is our general election. And if I win the council seat, and I hope to win the city council seat, I will have a better position and platform to go to China and go to our Asian neighbors and approach them for a potential partnership. In China, we emphasize about guanxi. Uh -huh. And I, I, I'm sure you're familiar with that word. Uh -huh. How do you make your advantage in this connection? Guanxi is basically the driving force in China. You have to have that connection. You can have all the talents in the world. You can have all uh, the astuteness in business and savviness, but if you do not have Guanxi, you cannot really bridge that gap. Mm -hmm. And I understand it because I have worked with a lot of Chinese investors, and in my tenure as the sister city board president, I've worked with a lot of Chinese officials. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a, it's a very, it's a plus, it's a tool that officials can use mm -hmm. when we go back to China mm -hmm. and bring in potential in developers. As a Chinese American, how do you think about Chinese Americans' role in the political life in the United States? The landscape in the political arena has totally changed. Now we have the first ever Chinese American mayor of a major metropolis, Jin Kwan. We have the first San Francisco Chinese mayor, Ed Lee. And I'm so proud of that the Chinese are now making inroad. I would encourage the China Bank or China investors to come visit China, visit Alameda first, then we can have a forum where citizens can have input. Community impact reports can be done, but we need collaboration and we need input from the Alameda citizens. Like I said, the city is only 13% Chinese American, mm -hmm. so the majority is still non-Chinese. Mm -hmm. And being an elected official, if I run and I win with the most votes, mm -hmm. I can be the next vice mayor of Alameda. Mm -hmm. With that position, I want to be the bridge to bring Chinese American out of the woods and into the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can encourage more collaboration between the U.S., specifically Alameda, and China.